In a laudable industry academic collaborative venture, Merino along with the Energy and Resource Institute and the Vishweshwaraya National Institute of Technology Nagpur has adopted a cost-effective method to convert paddy and other agro-waste into a soil enriching compost. This is an environmentally friendly alternative to stubble burning. Large quantities of paddy straw is collected from in and around Hapur and stored in sheds. It is then reduced in size by a pulverizer. After this, the shredded and crushed paddy straws are fed into a ribbon tray where the patented bioculture is sprayed into them and it undergoes dry digestion. Merino Innovation Center has come up with a unique culture, a biodigester, which digests paddy straw in as less as three weeks time, which otherwise takes three months to six months. And the product is patented, not only so, the product has commercialized with a title as Bajrang Band. So Bajrang Band is a very unique uh, decomposer, microbiolog uh, microbiological consortium, which is used for rapid composting of paddy straw, which we can do uh, as a centralized facility, like what we are doing here in Merino. On a pilot level, one ton of paddy straw on a daily basis is being composted, is being digested, which we are now scaling up to 15 tons per day. The primary aim of the patented bioculture is to tackle this huge problem of bio waste and its fruitful dispensation. It is aptly named as the Bajrang Barn. The mixture is then collected and stored in plastic bags, which themselves act as an anaerobic digester. With the help of the microbes in the Bajrang Barn, these shredded paddy straws get decomposed in 21 days and then is an organic manure for agro use. The process is simple, but the result is a remarkable alternative to a major environmental problem. Professor Sachin Mandavgane tells us of the meaningful and valuable collaboration that Vishweshwaraya National Institute of Technology has with Merino Industries. Uh, VNIT, Vishweshwaraya National Institute of Technology and Merino Industries, uh, we enter into an MOU and uh, as a part of that, VNIT is having Merino Innovation Center. In that innovation center, we are taking up different projects under the sustainability related topics. The lab work, typically we call it as development of proof of concept. The proof of concept is developed in VNIT laboratories. MTech students, PhD students, even the undergraduate student work on these topics. Once the proof of concept is established, then for scaled up study, for a pilot plant study, we come to Merino. So the understanding is following. The basic laboratory work, basic experimental work, which I would be doing maybe in 100 grams or 500 grams of quantity, is done in VNIT. We develop the proof of concept. We develop material balance, energy balance, general understanding. Once that is done, when I have to go for maybe 10 kg, maybe 15 kg, 50 kg of material, we call it as a lab plus experiments. So those lab plus experiments are carried at uh, Marino campus, where students who work in the laboratory, they themselves come here. So now they get the exposure of uh, industry. And we carry out the lab plus experiments. Once the lab plus experiments are successful, we go for a pilot plan, where the student, a couple of students are having their PhD topic around this. 
So they are doing their PhD as well as they are solving a real life problem. So instead of a solving an unsolved problem, the students are working on the problem for which the solution is needed. 